father, father, gentleman. Hi everyone, so today I might not be smiling too much just because I had my wisdom teeth taken out and if it looks a bit swollen, yeah, it's because of that. But also, I can't really stretch the stitches too much. But anyways, this video is inspired by, I guess, Song Ji Hyo and also my rampage of watching a lot of Running Pin. But I found out that she was the face of Vanilla Co. I don't know if that is still true, you know, in... in in this current time but <laughs> the last I saw she was the face and also yeah she kind of just inspired me to pick this up I got the Vanilla Co double V bouncing cushion with SPF 50 and it looks like that so I'm just gonna bring you up closer so you can see the state of my skin and if you want to see how this performs for a full day tried and tested review then just keep on watching so this is how my skin looks like. On camera, I don't think you can tell but I have a lot of dry flaky patches because I've been on a more intense regime with my acne skincare and yeah, there's still existing scarring but I am flaking a lot more and that's not really due to you know, my skin type, it's more so because I am applying external products, external skincare products. Overall, I think I'm still oily but more dehydrated at this point. So yeah, that's what we're working with and yeah, this is how the compact looks like. It's not a cushion, it's more so a dispenser. So I'm just going to remove the seal. So it comes with a few like indentations that dispense the product. Just going to pump it up a little bit. Oh, do you see that? <laughs> it's so cute. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's so cute. Okay. So you guys saw that and let's just begin. I'm just gonna use the air puff cushion that's given just cause for these kind of reviews I don't like to use different application methods since I guess it's more authentic to use the puff like everyone else would. This kind of reminds me of the Estee Lauder Pro To Go compact that is uh, currently released but I think that this is more authentic to Korea so I'm gonna apply a primer on half my face, this half. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Mineral veil primer oh yeah let's just begin i'm going to use the air puff oh yeah and i'm in the shade be20 which i assume is the darkest shade using the puff going in So that's with one light layer of application. I'm just going to bring you in even closer. As you can see, the colour shade is really, really nice. It actually has quite a bit of a yellow undertone, which I love. I mean, it does still make me have that kind of brighten and fair complexion, which I don't really enjoy, but I do like that it has a yellow undertone because if it's going to swing a little more peach or a little more pasty, it makes me look really pale and not well. Thinking the coverage-wise, you can still see a certain number of my acne spots but overall I think it's a low medium at this point but it feels like it's going to be buildable so we're just going to try to build up coverage on certain areas. So yeah, it is slightly buildable and I think that it's really really, it feels really nice on the skin and feels really light. It's not it's not super tacky which I am quite surprised about. It's kind of like a very slight tack how it would feel if you apply sunscreen but I think coverage wise it's a high medium and it's looking really really good. It makes my skin look really nice and kind of put together. I'm hoping this is going to be waterproof and I hope this is something that she uses on Running Man just cause with the physical activity that they do 
um, it's a wonder how her face still looks so good but yeah I'm hoping this is waterproof and it lasts in our climate so this is how it looks without and this is how it looks with so I think it's really really good so far I'm just gonna apply the other side So that's how everything looks from afar and as you can see my complexion is pretty brightened and also uh, it's pretty full coverage, the scarring is kind of neutralized. What I can see about this formula is that it's not the most hydrating type of BB foundation cushion or yeah, whatever cushion you want to call it but it does not fully hydrate my skin especially with all the dry patches going on but it doesn't accentuate the patches which I appreciate. I think that it is giving me quite a tacky finish as you can see there's quite a bit of sheen to the skin but it's not overly dewy which I appreciate and yeah I think that this concept is really cool it's like not not the typical foundation cushion which if you guys know me I don't really like the cushion kind of innovation just because I think it's pretty unhygienic especially for acne prone people you kind of push back the gums back into the cushion as well as this kind of accumulates gums in itself but I'm sure you can wash this but you know it's it just doesn't sound practical but I like this kind of dispenser just because it's I guess the product underneath it remains untainted and just not exposed to air so it seems like a really handy device the only thing is that if this concept were to spoil then you won't be able to get the foundation upwards and it's kind of difficult to open it but overall I just think that I way prefer this kind of a packaging compared to a, a BB cushion so I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and get back to my morning check-in thoughts and yeah we'll just go from there So that's how everything looks on at about 8am in the morning but I did not use much powdered products especially I did not use a lot of concealer or setting powder I did use a powder blush but overall I think that everything is looking really really good as it did before I think that this actually might skew more towards the a light to medium coverage nothing too full coverage in that aspect so if you have really great skin and you just want like a dewy complexion this will be great and basically what you see on Song Ji Hyo in Running Man is what you get but for people with more acne prone skin such as myself you do need to touch up with a little bit of concealer or you can don't you know if you prefer those kind of just a slight neutralization of your flaws and you know you're ready to go after the day. For me generally I like a little bit more coverage especially under the eyes as well as on certain acne spots that I have but I think Overall, it's really, really good. I don't know why this formula blows me away more so than other Korean compacts. I'm not sure if I'm skewed based on the media, but I'm definitely sure this makes my skin look a lot more youthful and radiant. As I look into the mirror, it kind of just smooths over all my dry patches and still maintains that kind of dewy and radiant kind of complexion. So I'm really liking it at this point. I'll check back in at the end of the day to see how long last as well as whether the coverage maintains itself throughout the day so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so far so i'll see you guys when i'm back so i've just been lazing around a little bit and i just wanted to check in it's about i think three hours since i applied it and look at it it looks so so good i'm not too sure if it's translating but i do have certain textural dry patches after exfoliating you know some parts of dry skin just stay on your face those parts are being glided over but it does not hydrate it as you can see not many things can do that unless you have like a really good skincare regime where you apply a lot of moisturizer but for the sake of this video I did not want to use external products to skew the formulation of the compact foundation so yeah I'm really really liking it I think I look really healthy considering that I have had quite a bad week with my wisdom teeth, flu, sinus and that kind of thing but I look really healthy and radiant. Yeah, I'll check back in at you know a different time when maybe when I'm outside because I'm just going for lunch and then I'll get back so yeah I'll see you guys.
Okay, so I've been out for like quite a short while, not too long and yeah, this is how it looks but basically all I have to say is that it held up pretty well considering that it's really, really hot today. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 36 degrees but clearly my liquid lipstick wore away but I think all that I have to say about this is going to be pretty positive. I think that even though it did not properly hydrate my skin, it still makes it look really dewy and nice and not overly dewy in an oily manner. Even as I'm sweating now, I did not wipe any of my sweat away. It still looks really healthy and radiant and I was just telling uh, my boyfriend that it looked very healthy on my skin and almost like I did not put too much makeup on and I'm really liking it even though it does make me a little more pale in comparison I enjoy that it has a yellow undertone another thing to note is that if you don't set this cushion this foundation cushion with uh, powder it does sink into uh, any small lines that you have so you just need to like smooth that over but overall I think it is a really good formulation and I just can't stress enough how much I like the type of packaging. It just makes it really handy for on-the-go touch-ups as well as you're not too preoccupied with the fact that it might get more germy throughout the day and that kind of thing. So yeah, all around thumbs up from me and it overall gets a 10 out of 10 upon first impressions. Also, if you do pick it up as a set, it does come with a single refill which is always amazing and yeah. They call it the Mega Pump Up System, so that explains it. It doesn't really serve as a kind of cushion formula, it's just a compact a container that holds the foundation inside and you can pump it up. So that's really, really amazing. And yeah, I have nothing but good things to say. So if you guys enjoyed this review, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!